Hi, this is Andy from twnonline.co.uk. This is the first in a series of guides covering functions and formulas in Excel 2007. In this guide, we're going to be focusing on the autofill function. Let's have a quick look how the uh, autofill option uh, actually works. I'm just going to place a number in cell D4, and you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner uh, of the, the selected cell, um, there's a little sort of square or slightly larger square um, and that's actually the fill handle um, what I'm going to do is just just grab that and, and hold down the left mouse button as I drag uh, down the screen um, as you can see once I release all the cells that I selected now have the same contents in them so they've all got the number one in there um, also in the bottom right hand corner we now have a, a little menu that's, that's appeared um, if I just highlight that um, you can see the autofill options so just running down we've got copy cells which is what we've um, actually done there so all, all the contents of the cell is copied into, into the, the new cells we have the fill series option um, which will actually increment the uh, the number so it counts or well, moves up all the way from one to two to three as we go down the cells um, we can fill with formatting only which will um, only take the formatting of the cell and not the actual number so if I do you can see um, there's not really anything visible to see there um, and we can fill without formatting so that wouldn't take any of the formatting any of the colors um, or, or the cell formatting um, if we were to select that option uh, I'm just going to leave fill series ticked um, one of the other cool things that um, you can do with autofill is it's not restricted just to numbers if I uh, pop Monday in there and do the same and just drag down the screen you'll notice it populates the cells with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and so on um, there are a couple of data types uh, or pieces of data that you can use with the autofill tool um, and we'll demonstrate those shortly if in your copy of Microsoft Excel 2007 you find that um, the bottom right hand corner of the, the cell doesn't have the um, sort of square uh, or the fill handle um, it's pretty easy to turn on and off um, and we'll just show you how to do that if you popped into the um, office disk um, right at the bottom and click on Excel options um, in the advanced section under editing right at the top um, there is an option here just to enable the fill handle um, so if that is unticked um, you may want to put a tick in there and that will turn back on uh, the fill handle in addition to filling columns as we did in the previous two examples autofill actually works um, in rows as well so I'm just going to put um, 10 pounds in, in the uh, first cell and just drag that horizontally across the screen um, across the rows and you'll notice that again um, I can select from the autofill options fill series and my 10 pounds is increased by one um, all the way to 15 just to finish off the examples I'm just going to do a quick um, date example so you can see uh, another variation um, of how we can use um, the fill handle um, I've just popped a date into cell G7 I'm just going to drag that down um, and there you can see um, again uh, a similar effect that the dates have actually uh, incremented by the by the day on the uh, left hand side of the cell you'll notice in the fill options menu this time though we have a few more options we can fill days um, we can fill months um, and we can fill years so that changes um, the portion of the date that it, that is uh, incremented um, and, and that's an option that you have uh, when you use the date um, data type everything I've just shown you in the, the previous four examples can be achieved by using the fill menu from the from the ribbon um, you'll notice I have the home tab selected in the ribbon over on the far right hand corner is this option here um, which contains all the fill settings uh, when using the autofill function. I'm just going to pop uh, number one uh, in cell K, K7 and we'll take a look at some of these options. So if we select a couple of cells there and we go up to fill, uh, the first thing that you can see is down, right, up and left and that, that sets the fill direction. Obviously in this instance I'm just going to select down and we'll, we'll see what happens. You can see that autofill has, has just copied the content so that's very similar to if you were just to, to fill series uh, from the menu when you use the autofill handle as we showed previously. In this next example let's take a look at some of the more advanced options within the uh, fill ribbon menu. I'm just going to clear uh, the cells we've been working with in, in column K. 
uh, and then select uh, K7 again that, that contains the number one. Uh, if I pop up to fill and this time select the series uh, option, from within the series menu we can do all the things that we've seen in the previous four examples but the reason sort of for taking a look at this is to have a look at the step and stop value in, in, in particular. Um, so let's have a quick look at how that works. Um, I can select how I want the data to be displayed either in horizontal rows or vertical columns. Just for the video it's easier uh, to do this in columns than it is to do it in uh, horizontal rows. I'm going to leave linear uh, selected uh, because that's quite a nice little example to start with. Uh, but I'm going to change the step value to 2 and the stop value to 11. Um, now this particular example wouldn't work if we don't select a stop value um, so we need to do that. Now what we should see is when I click OK is that the auto filled cells will increment by the number 2 but they will only go up to the number 11. And there you go, pretty straightforward uh, example uh, of how that works. I'm just going to clear that, clear that down um, so we can have another go and look at some of the other um, other options in here. Um, so again, I'm just going to go with columns. Uh, but I'm going to look at the growth option. The difference between linear and, and growth is that growth will multiply by the step value. Um, date, obviously, uh, will, if we were using the date data type, and the autofill option will do the same as dragging the autofill handle down, down the, the spreadsheet. Uh, so let's just do one final example with the, the growth option. Um, we'll change the step value to 5 and the stop value to, say, 900. You do that, and, and as you can see, um, it's, the, the value is multiplied by 5 each time uh, the autofill is used. Hopefully this has been a useful introduction to the autofill function in Excel 2007. If you have any questions or anything you, you want to ask us, please feel free to drop us an email to info at twnonline.co.uk.